And welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is Alex and if you are new here please make sure you stick around and subscribe if you aren't new here and you've been here for a while then please make sure you put that notification bell on just to be notified of every single time that I upload now for today's video I have a super excited one because I'm finally getting up my review on the revolution crystal aura collection and when I saw this launch on the website I was like that is a bit of me I love love me the forever flawless palettes there's also some fixing mist and some lip oils i was like yes i need to get this collection so i've purchased all three of the forever flawless palettes obviously and then for the uh fixing sprays and the lip oils i just picked up one of out of the three of each just so i'm not overwhelming myself with more setting sprays and lip oils because i literally have so many now apologies for this video going up slightly later than planned um my parcel for some reason come much later than everyone else's even though i paid six pound for express delivery but we don't need to go into that i've also just bought a house which i've not actually officially announced on my youtube yet so I know, I've literally bought a house, it's insane. I have started the moving vlog series, so those videos will be coming very soon. Um, I have also set up an Instagram page and a TikTok for the home renovation because it is a complete reno job, like literally the whole house needs doing, which is super exciting, but that's kind of why this video is a bit later as well. I could have uploaded this yesterday, but I was just absolutely knackered. We'd been there for like three days in a row over Easter weekend sorting everything out that we needed to but anyway that is why the video has gone up a little bit late i hope you can forgive me because there are moving vlogs coming very soon now as there are three eyeshadow palettes in this collection i have done this style of video before where i film two tutorials previous to me filming this video and i'm going to insert the clips of those looks i did with those palettes after i've done like the main part of this video and then i can kind of review all of them all in one video rather than just doing separate ones because that takes up a lot of time and energy and I'd rather just review the whole collection in one vid for you. So let's just get on into it. So as you can gather by the name, the theme of this collection is crystals. So all three of the Forever Flawless palettes are named after crystals. We have Rose Quartz, we have Amethyst and we have Advent Aventurine. Okay, and then there is a fixing spray associated with each crystal and then same with the lip oils. So firstly, we have a Rose Quartz eyeshadow palette, which is in pink packaging. And this is a little bit used because this is one of the palettes I did a tutorial with prior to this video. This is what Rose Quartz look like. It's super soft, pink and pretty. I really love this color story. It's super, super pretty. Next, we have Amethyst, which as you can see is a purple palette, which I absolutely love. Look at this color kind of story is stunning i love it so so much and then the one that i'm going to be using right now on my eyes is adventuring from the packaging i thought this palette was going to be blue right but it's actually a green palette and i'm so excited to use this because this palette oh get rid of the plastic packaging this palette looks absolutely beautiful look at all those matte greens i just love it so so much and then for the mist i got the amethyst fixing spray this is like a calming fix spray and then for the lip oil i got the, the aventurine one that's in the green packaging so i'm going to use these babies first i think i'm just going to pop on a little bit of this lip oil oh oh it feels smells very fresh so these lip oils retail for £4.99 each and this one says this lip oil is infused with hyaluronic acid and chia oil designed to nourish and condition lips with a clear high shine formula including green crystals and fresh cucumber aroma. Aroma? Aroma? Yeah I can definitely smell that and can you see the little crystals at the bottom there? Hope you can, there you go. Yeah, I'm just going to pop some of this on. It is a little rollerball, by the way. I didn't even mention that. Oh. Mm. 
it feels really nice and thick on the lips like in a good way i have such dry lips and putting like a thicker lip oil on just makes me feel so much better and then these fixing sprays retail for £7.99. And this specific spray says set and refresh with this illuminating fixing spray infused with a real with real crystals containing hyaluronic acid to hydrate the skin with a calming lavender scent. I absolutely love lavender. If you don't like it, do not buy this. The reason I didn't get any of the rose quartz stuff is because I don't like rose scents. So rose sprays they break me out and i'm just generally not a fan of rose scents as you can see the crystals stop focusing on my face crystals are sat at the bottom and you can hear them they don't obviously float because they're crystals they just sit at the bottom what i'm getting from them is that they're all illuminating fixing sprays they all just do different things so it's just hmm it's a nice a nice mister oh that does smell nice Oh my god, no, that is so forceful. Oh, oh my god, that is a very forceful mist. Tapping those bits of spray in, and this is what my skin is looking like. Now, bear in mind, I do actually have a matte foundation on, so I think you definitely can see a little bit of glow. It's not too glowy though, which I appreciate because I'm not a massive fan of super wet looking skin, but I do still appreciate glowiness and I think I think it looks beautiful on the skin. You can definitely tell on my forehead there. I'm a little bit more glowy. Pretty. Okay, so far, loving the lip oil, loving the setting spray. Let's now move on to the eyeshadow palettes. So as I said, I've done tutorials on these palettes. We will come back to them in this video. But we are now going to do a tutorial on the Aventurine palette. This is the green one. To be honest, the reason that I saved this one for the main video is because I just love the amount of green mattes in here. I really, really appreciate it. And I haven't done a green look in a little while, so I thought we could do something green and pretty today. So let's just get on into it. Okay, so I've just put some eye base on. This is the Revolution Super Base. Firstly, I think I'm going to take the shade Soothes and I'm just going to pop that in my outer corner. Next, I'm going to take Creativity, which is this green here. It kind of doesn't match the tone. That There is this one that matches that. But I'll come back to that shade if I need it. And I'm just going to take this Creativity shade above where I pop that green. And also take it to the front of my lid. And then to blend out the top edges, I'm going to take Enthusiasm, which is this shade here. I'm going to take that on like a bigger fluffy brush. I'm just going to start kind of buffing. Buffing that out. The tones might not match actually, but it's fine. Once we blend it all together, it will make a bit more sense. And then I'm going to go back in with Creativity, which is the second shade we use. I'm just going to use that to kind of blend into the top, to the top shade a little bit more. I do feel like this palette is missing like a white, like a matte white, just so you can use that to mix with these greens and to create a little bit of blending with them. But it's all good. You see how now I've applied that green a little bit higher up, it does look... A lot more seamless and I'm just going back in with a fluffy brush at the very top edges this is where I would go in with like a white or something just to diffuse the top edges a little bit to be fair they have this little shade this little shade <laughs> they have this shade here which is called goals it's not quite what I want it is a bit more on like the translucent side but I'm gonna see if I can use that to just kind of blend out these top edges. Just gonna go back in with Suze, which is the original shade. I'm just gonna darken up 
a little bit more in the outer corner just because I feel like I lost a little bit of pigment but it's fine immediately comes back and then I've got to use this shimmer so there's this one here which is called wealth I really hope it is stunning Okay, so this is the shimmer. It's absolutely stunning. I love all the little shimmers running through it that reflect. It is beautiful. And next, I'm going to take a little bit of uh, Perseverance, which is this shimmer shade here. There isn't really any other dark greens apart from this. But I feel like the tone is a little bit off. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that shade. So this shimmer I'm using here has got a different formula. I think there is a few different shimmer formulas in this palette. Like this one is a lot more on the flat side, but it is pigmented, so it is blending nice. That first shimmer has that more like shimmery putty sort of texture. Also look like there's other putty ones sort of thing. So there is a few different types of formula shimmers. I think for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go neutral. So I'm gonna take this shade here, which is called Harmony. And then lastly, for the inner corner, I feel like there is like a, a few options maybe. Um, no, I'm going to take Luck, which is this middle one here. Okay, so these are the completed eyes. I am obsessed with how they turned out. I'm just going to pop on the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I've finished the rest of my makeup on. I've actually got lashes on today. Who is she? I don't know, because I never wear lashes anymore. But I've put on my favourite Roxy Revolution lashes. You know how much I absolutely love these. For mascara, I use the Revolution 5D Whip Lift. And my lips are a bit of a combo. I've got the Revolution IRL Lip Liner on in frappuccino nude and then have a rare beauty lipstick on i could have gone full revolution but obviously didn't feel like it uh, this is the lipstick in the shade talented i absolutely love it so this is my completed look with the adventuring eyeshadow palette so now we're going to move on to the other two palettes in this collection so firstly i did the tutorial with the amethyst palette and just a reminder this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful purple palette. Just going to show you the swatches and then we'll get on into the two. Firstly, I'm going to take Inspire. This is the darkest shade in the palette and I'm going to use this in the outer corner. Next, I'm going to take Stability. We're going to blend that above that shade and also bring it to the front of my lid. Next, I'm taking High Frequency. I'm just going to start buffing that above that shade we used in the crease. And then to further blend, I'm going to use the shade Cleanse, which is a nice lilac shade. I had to go back and forth between the shades just to get that accurate blend. I do wish there was a sort of medium purple shade to do that. But next we're taking Sincerity on the lid. This shade is stunning. I love the blue reflex. Next we're taking Spiritual and we're just using that to blend the shade out into the outer corner. And then we're going back in with Stability on my lower lash line. To finish off the look, I'm going to take Shield and I'm popping that in my inner corner and brow bone. And then this is my completed look without the rest of the makeup on. And then I'm about to show you that. So here we go. And bam. This is the completed look. I did put lashes because I thought it was quite a dramatic look. And just some mascara on the lower lash line. Let me know down below what you think of this look. I'm absolutely obsessed. Okay, and then the last palette in this collection is Rose Quartz, and this is the pinky one. Reminder, this is what the shades look like. It is more of that like softer pink kind of palette. There's not like an awful lot of pinks in here when you actually look at it. Again, going to show you the swatches of this palette, and then we'll delve into the tutorial. Thank you. 
Outer Courts, we're firstly going to take Empathy and again I'm going to pop that in my Outer Corner just to start off the blend. Next I'm taking the Pink Shade and I'm going to use that on top of that shade and also to the front of my lid. Then we're going to take the light pink which is called Kindness and we're going to buff that shade out. It's blending absolutely beautifully. For a further blend, I'm going to take Emotion, just the very, very top edges. For the shimmer, I'm going to use Caring. It's an absolutely beautiful shade. It's not as beautiful as the purple one, but it's still very beautiful. Then we're taking Forgiveness to, again, further blend into the matte shades on the outer corner. Then we're going to go in with Support, and I'm applying that to all of the lower lash line. And then to finish off, I'm using the shade Hill in the inner corner and a brow bone. And this is my completed look with the pinky palette. I did just decide to put mascara with this because I felt like lashes would be a little bit too strong, but I think it turned out beautifully. Okay, so those are all three of my looks with the Crystal Aura Forever Flawless palettes. Please let me know down below which look is your favourite. I would love to know. Let's just sit down and review the collection as a whole. Obviously, I don't have all the fixing sprays and I don't have all the lip oils, but they're all going to apply the same sort of way. They just have different qualities to them, if that makes sense. So I really like this setting spray. I think it did add a really nice a luminous effect to my base and just pumped a little bit of hydration back to my back into my skin which I really appreciate because I'm a little bit dry as well at the moment so I really like this spray I don't love the mister though I feel I wish it was more like graceful do you know what I mean it's literally so forceful so just be a little bit careful of that and this lip oil I mean is it different to a lot of the other lip oils I have not really it's just an, an average lip oil but I love the scent of this it's super fresh. I don't have a lip oil with a scent like this. And I reckon that would feel amazing on the lips overnight as well. So as for those two products, I think they are really lovely. I don't think they're anything like, wow, you need to run out and go buy them immediately because they're different to all the other setting sprays and lip oils I have in my collection. I think they have their good qualities about them. But I feel like I have tons of setting sprays that do the same thing and tons of lip oils. That's just my personal thing you might not have a lot of setting sprays and lip oils but if you don't and if you're looking for some new drugstore ones i mean i think these are fabulous they're very very beautiful products and i would definitely recommend i also love the fact that there's little crystals sat at the bottom i love the whole crystal theme i think it's really cute okay next moving on to the eyeshadow palette so these are forever flawless palettes which you know i have such a love relationship with I love them. There have been some bad ones in the past. Most of the time they are really good. And what I will say about these Forever Flawless palettes is that every one of them did perform, okay? They all are very good quality and I really loved playing with all of these. I think they are beautiful. I must say, as much as I love pink, I don't think this is pink enough for me. I think I would have loved definitely more pinks in here because there's only really two pink matte shades and a few pink shimmers so i think for me this is probably my least favorite color story it's pink i know but i just yeah i just feel like there, there needs to be more pinks in there just to make it a bit more rose quartzy but it is definitely more of like the softer everyday kind of palette you know the amethyst palette i think has a beautiful color story the only comment i have about this one is that i wish there was a sort of shade in between stability and cleanse i feel like that's quite a jump this is quite deep whereas this one's really pale lilac so i think i would have just loved a medium sort of purple shade just to ease the blend of the purples together do you know what I mean because I feel like I had to go back in with both shades quite a lot just to ensure that they were blending properly but apart from that honestly this palette is stunning the shimmers are beautiful as well that sincerity shade my favorite shimmer throughout all three palettes it was just incredible and then lastly for a venturine that i use today i think this is the best color story personally i think there is a nice amount of mattes in here a nice amount of blending shades if i was just to make one comment i wish there maybe was a lighter a lighter green 
in here I feel like they are quite they're quite medium they're like deep and medium I would have liked to have seen like a lighter green again just to help with the ease of the blend but I managed to make it work even without that but that's just my personal preference I do just like to have you know a dark medium light just to help with the blend and then extra shades as well again that shimmers in here were absolutely beautiful and overall I think this collection is really exciting all three of the palettes had bright inner corner and brow bone shades which I can appreciate I absolutely love that the shimmers were stunning as I said that one in the purple palette is definitely my favorite for all three I think they are good quality eyeshadow palettes they are 12 pounds so they are a little bit on the spenny side for revolution but I will leave Lucy's discount code down below you can use on their website and get these for 10 pounds instead overall I think it's a really exciting collection from revolution I feel like the whole crystals theme is really in at the moment so i'm really happy with this collection i love the friend flawless palettes they're probably my favorite thing about this collection but i will continue to use the setting spray and the lip oils as well so yeah i would definitely recommend these if you love your colorful makeup like the eyeshadow side you're gonna love these palettes if you are more of a neutral person i mean i think the one the adventuring one does have a lot not a lot but a few neutrals in here like with the browns and the nudie shades you could definitely get a neutral look out of this as well but you are mainly going to buy these palettes for the colorfulness of them so yeah i'm definitely going to recommend this collection i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button let me know down below what you think and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i'll see you in my next video bye